hello guys today we'll be doing a pppoe configuration on our power beam ubiquity device so first we need to log in and you log in with your username and password next you go to network as you can see my network mode is on bridge this is because i've already configured this device on bridge mode but now we'll be changing it to router so that we could be able to configure it on ppoe you go to the one network settings specifically on the ip address click on ppoe then impute the username as given to you by your isp and your isp should the isp should also give you a password attached to that username if for any reason you use a wrong password it's not going to work there should also be a service name in my case is service one you have your fallback IP in case you wish to log in locally. Your MTU should be one f one f should be fifteen hundred. That's one thousand five hundred. Then you enable NAT. Enable all the NAT protocol, which is S SIP, PPTP, FTP, and RTSP. Remember to disable block management access. In this way, you will be able to log in into your device online remotely configure your LAN network settings this is for you to be able to locally log in into your device with a LAN cable and ethernet cable click on DHCP enable your DHCP and configure the range as pre as you design as you want it to be this is the primary DNS given to me by my ISP you could also have a secondary DNS click on change confirm everything is okay and click on change then you apply that's all you need to do for a ppoe configuration on a power beam so for me to be sure that we actually configured our device perfectly what we need to do is to re-log in then we confirm if the ip address attached to our ppoe that is attached to the username actually has dropped so all you need to do is to scroll down on your main page click on ppoe pppoe information let's see if our ip address has dropped as you can see my local ip address has stopped so uh, this device actually has the internet now and i could surf the net as much as i want so guys that's all you need to do for a PPOE, PPPOE configuration. Thank you. Remember to like.